Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's video is going to be, I actually got a, this is actually from a Twitter follower, and the title of the video is Talk to Strangers. And I had a Twitter follower recently send me a tweet and ask me a question, and she's basically what she said was, I think she was in India, and she says, even when I'm in a crowd, I feel alone. I feel like I'm all by myself. And basically her question was, do I have any suggestions for her? And so the reason I say talk to strangers is I'm basically, you know, a former, you may not believe it or not, but there was a time in my life where I was very young, I was very shy. As a matter of fact, if you talk to any of my, my friends, any of my girlfriends that I, that I knew from high school, and they'll all say the same thing. It's like, you were always so quiet. You know, of course, until I got a few beers in me at, at the keg party, and then you know I, I wouldn't shut up. But it's interesting. One of my um, doctors years ago, we were having this conversation about life. It was actually a network chiropractic doctor, and so we were talking about people that had different patterns. And it was interesting. He was describing my spinal pattern, and you know, because people that have certain issues in their personality or self-esteem issues, or they're shy or whatever or they are a very fearful person. I mean, basically, however you look at the world, a network chiropractic doctor can lay you down on the table and look at your spine and, and touch you in a couple places, feel where the muscle tension is, and they can tell you, without even knowing who you are, exactly the types of things, the types of relationships that you have in your life and the things that are going on. You know, basically, your model of the world, the way you look at the world. And one of the things that he said to me I remember one time after I got up off the table and he was adjusting me, he says, talk to strangers. And I was like, you know, what do you mean? What are you saying by that? And, and he proceeded to tell me is that people with your pattern usually tend to be very shy, very quiet, and they don't say a lot. And the thing about people with your pattern, the pattern that you have is actually you really have a lot to say. And it's interesting, like when I think about where I came from and where I am now and like what I do today is that you know, the benefits always, like when I was younger, being quiet, is I was always I would always listen to other people. I would take in other points of view, and then once I got a feel for everybody else and and kind of got a lay of the land, so to speak, then I would start talking. And then that's when people would always go, "Holy shit, dude! I didn't know you knew so much. Or, I didn't know you knew about this, or I didn't know you knew about that." And, you know, it's kind of like in my my life coaching practice. It's you know people that first come to me think that the majority of my work is basically helping guys improve their relationships or improve their pickup skills with women and that's actually about 10 percent of what I do most of what I spend my time doing is life coaching and helping people out with you know issues on life whether it's busy you know some guys I'm helping them turn their business around I've got other guys that are help I'm helping them start a business or I got other guys that are helping them change careers or get into to doing something that they always wanted to do or I may start out with somebody helping them with a relationship but then they start, the relationship gets going so well that they start looking around at the other areas of their life and they say, you know what, my health kind of sucks or my job really sucks or I'm not making the kind of money that I think I should be making. And so we start focusing on other areas of their lives because when I'm coaching somebody, a guy that's more successful a guy feels in his life, whether it's investing or his career or building his business, being an entrepreneur, whatever it happens to be, the more successful a man feels at his purpose in life the more confident he's going to feel, the more sure of himself that he's going to feel. And he's going to exude this. And women are going to notice this. And obviously, women are going to find them more attractive. And so a big part of my life coaching practice is focusing on guys and the things that they're doing outside of their relationships. So their life is nothing but filled up with people and careers and businesses and doing things that they really love to do. Because let's face it, if you really want to be successful in life, you're only going to be successful at doing something that you really want to do. I mean, if you want to be good at something, you got to be, be good at something that you like because it's it's in liking it and have a passion for it that causes you to work hard and put in the extra effort and go the extra mile that most people or people that didn't have a passion for it would go for. And so, you know, back to my Twitter followers, like I feel alone in a crowd, it's actually, you got got a lot to say. As a matter of fact, when people really get to know you, I bet they'll say that, wow, you're really a deep person. I, I had no idea that, that you were like that. I, I've got a friend of mine that I, I wrote an article about who spent his days at AOL. And I remember when I first met this guy years ago, I mean, he's very meek. He's got long hair. 
you know, he just kind of looked almost like a, a you know a, a computer geek or a, a kind of a bum or whatever. I had no idea what he did and had done and to make all of it, you know, his fortune. And so he shares all this stuff with me. I find out he worked at AOL and and he made all his you know tens of millions of dollars when he left there and. And so when you start talking to this guy and you actually get to know him, he's actually very a very deep person, a very interesting, very fascinating to talk to and, and to communicate with. And I've learned a lot from him over the years about business, about picking investments, about not getting emotionally invested, and, and how he chooses his investments. Because it's been, I mean, Christ, almost 15 years at this point since he left AOL, and he's done pretty well for himself investing his money since then. And so, like I said, Talk to strangers. If you start, if you're a person that ha- tends to be shy, go to them all. Just start looking people in the eye and smiling to them as you walk by and say, "Hey, how, how you doing? What's up? How are you? How's your day going?" If you're standing in line, and it doesn't matter if it's an old person, doesn't have to be a woman or whatever. If you're trying to improve your, you know, the women or the men that you date, you know, depending on what your, what area of your life you're trying to improve, it's just talk to people. When you're sitting in line, or you see somebody's like, "Wow, that looks really good. What is that?" You know, where where'd you get that? What store did you get that? If you happen to walk into the mall and you're near the food court and you see a you know a cute girl that's got something that looks really good, it's like where'd you get that at? You know, it, it's an icebreaker. It's it's a way to talk to people. And if you the more you engage people in your daily life and conversation, the more comfortable you will feel talking to strangers. And the more you do it, you're going to realize it's like when I coach guys that are having problems meeting women, they're really shy. I send them to the mall. Tell them go and start smiling and talking to people and. Forget about asking for phone numbers. Just shoot the shit. Talk to the clerks in there. Go ask them about a pair of socks or a pair of slacks. Just get in the habit of making small talk with people. And then you're going to realize that most people are very friendly and will talk to you if you just take the time to ask them a few questions. Hey, what's up? How are you? How's your day going? You know, Just simple stuff like that. That's all you got to do. And so if you find these messages of value and you feel that I've added value, to your life, whether it's an article or one of my ebooks or an, an audio lesson or one of these videos or an article on my website, there's a PayPal donate button on the right hand side on the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen there if you happen to be watching this video on my website. So go there and you know, anytime you feel that I've had value in your life, you know, tip me five bucks or thirty dollars or fifty or two bucks, it, it doesn't matter. It's Whatever you find, or whatever you feel is valuable, anytime I offer you something or teach you something and you're like, wow, that really helps me, that you know, that completely changes the way I look at things. Or even if it's just something simple. At the very least, you can use the Facebook or one of the other social network sharing buttons at the bottom and you can share it with all of your friends and family. If you've got a question that you would like me to answer in one of these f- future video newsletters, then you, you can also, on the bottom of the screen, there's an email address for it, or you can use the Facebook comment section at the very bottom of this article, and you can post a comment or question right there, and give me a few days, and I'll get back to you. And I will talk to you soon.